This is Detunified! Today we're going to explore the twisted mind of Sylvain Chaumet and his French girl, the triplets of Belleville. And show you what beef he has with the American culture. Because we love this film so much, we're going to do a giveaway! So stay tuned! Triplets of Belleville takes place in an era reminiscent of France in the 50s. It follows a devoted grandmother, Madame Sousa, looking after her orphan grandson, Champion, who is competing in the Tour de France. But during the race, he's kidnapped by the French Mafia along with two fellow cyclists and taken to Belleville, a city that may or may not be New York. There, the French Mafia sedates them with wine, forces them to bike on a race simulating contraption while betting on who will win. But rescue is on the way! Don't let her club foot and lazy eye fool you, Madame Sousa is tough. She travels to Belleville along with her dog Bruno to rescue Champion. Along the way, she meets the Triplets of Belleville, a once famous singing trio from the 30s jazz era, now living in a shabby apartment and eating nothing but frogs. Triplets of Belleville is a well-crafted satirical masterpiece. There is so much symbolism that we're still not even sure if we know what the movie is really about. Triplets follows two people, Champion and Madame Sousa, who have experienced a great loss, the death of Champion's parents. They try to fill this void by focusing all their attention on cycling, because Champion associates a bicycle with his parents, mm -hmm. due to this picture. To emphasize that they're numbing their pain with his mechanical everyday routine, Chamey shows them with the same unfazed expression throughout the entire movie. Okay, let's see if you guys can figure this one out. So we've got a Mickey Mouse type character who is the engineer keeping the well-oiled machine running smoothly. Any guesses as to what that means? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Well, the guy obviously represents Hollywood and Hollywood produces mind-numbing crap that offers people an escape from reality. And in this case, the Mickey Mouse character is the inventor of a machine that shows images that are not real to Champion and his co-bicyclist. Okay, and I get the point. Chomet also makes a statement about the Tour de France. He compares the cyclists to racehorses. This idea is introduced very subtly through the sound design. We see Champion entering the house wheezing from his daily workout, but his footsteps sound like hooves and his heavy breathing sounds like horse whinny. So what do cycling and racehorsing have in common? Firstly, these cyclists are extreme athletes that become one with their bikes. They completely lose themselves in the sport and run the track mindlessly, like animals. Secondly, both racehorsing and the Tour de France are known for their doping scandals. <laughs> in the early years of the Tour de France, cyclists even used alcohol to numb their pain. The same substance that the French Mafia used to sedate the kidnapped cyclists. The film is 2D but some scenes use the help of 3D computer animation. While it's impossible to spot the difference in most scenes, there's a few times where it's obvious and it took us out of the movie. Other than that, we absolutely love the aesthetic of the film. This movie instantly reminded us of a political cartoon. Even the places are caricatures of real cities. Take Belleville, a mix between Paris, Montreal, and New York. Chomet also seems to have some beef with American society since he portrays the people of Belleville as a beast hamburger loving citizens. So not true. Then again, he also portrays the French as eating frogs, boiled, fried, or in a stew. Dude, I'm not French. I'm Swiss. We don't eat frogs. But this isn't an anti-American nor anti-French film at all. Chimay said that in order to make a caricature out of something, you really have to love it. Just maybe not every aspect of it. Chimay once stated that he finds pretty characters uninteresting. Which explains why his characters are extremely interesting. <laughs> One of our favorite designs is the box-shaped mafia goon. Do you know what they call a big beefy guy like that in Swiss German? What? A Hoste, which translates into box. Swiss German with Sarah! Chimay believes that animation is stronger without the constraint of spoken word. And we totally agree. Triplets of Belleville has virtually no dialogue and did a great job telling the story through music and sound. We were really impressed with the detail in the fantastic sound design. You can even hear Bruno's claws tapping on the wood. The musical score, composed by the Canadian guitarist Benoit Charest, is reminiscent of the 1920s jazz era. In this scene, the triplets use household objects as instruments for their music. The sounds you hear were produced by the actual objects. Who knew a vacuum could even make those sounds? Charest did. That's who. 
If you love nostalgic and intelligent movies, watch Triplets of Belleville. But what if you don't have a copy? We're giving one away! All you have to do is subscribe and answer the following questions in the comments below. We were very impressed with the character design in this film. What animated film has stood out to you because of its character design and why? We'll announce the winner in the next episode. Subscribe! 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 <laughs>